right, it's ACL 2023, and I'm back down here like I am every year to uh, check and see how everything is looking from an active mobility perspective. And as you can see, uh, the new protected bike lanes here on Barton Springs Road. Let's change the dynamic a little bit here. A little bit more space for the pedestrians and uh, it really makes it a lot more comfortable for rolling down through here on a bike. And again, the best way to get to these events are obviously walking and biking. And pedicab. Pedicab's a pretty cool way to get to the event as well. towards the event now, towards Zilker Park. You can get a little bit more of an idea of what this is like here in the bike lane. You can really get an idea of just how easy it is to ride a bike through here. I'm going to take you over to the bike parking where it is at. You can see where uh, people can ride their personal bikes in and park them. Walk the final couple hundred meters in. This is one of three bike parking areas they traditionally have set up uh, here at Zilker Park. So we'll take a look at this. This is also where they have the uh, drop off for the e-scooters, bike share scooters. And you can see the, the bike parking sign there. And again, you can see that this is a street that is basically one block over and parallel to the street that we were just rolling down Barton Springs. And you can see the personal bike parking facilities here. Not anywhere near as many people riding their personal bikes uh, down to the event these days compared to a decade ago, mainly because of 
scooter share. You can see the scooter share drop-offs right up here. You see Lime and also Super Pedestrian Link is there. Um, not seeing any birds. They must be around though, I would think. But uh, yeah, that's sort of changed the ball game on that. We usually see the bike share system bikes um, around as well. But uh, for those people who do want to ride their own bike, there's plenty of bike parking here. And again, you can hear the music in the background. We are literally just a couple hundred meters from the venue site. See the main venue site right down there we're gonna run up the hill here go take a look at the other bike parking side of the park area and we can see some of the other bike parking for personal bikes as well as we can see some drop-off areas with some of the lime scooters as well as some of the lime bikes right over here too They do uh, shut down this street to motor vehicle traffic, which makes it a heck of a lot safer, more pleasant for uh, people to walk to the event, as well as ride pedicabs, ride their own personal bikes to ACL. Sorry for the bumpy road. They've recently done some sewer work in this neighborhood, so it's all chunked up at the moment. I also want to swing in and show you some of the uh, bike parking over here at the pool area. These are some of the permanent bike racks right over Bar by Barton Springs Pool. I think Barton Springs Pool is officially open at this time. We'll be able to tell when we go take a look at the bike parking here. And again, this is the permanent bike parking that we're going to go look at. So this is the bike parking that is typically full on the weekend anyways, as people are at the pool. And yes, the answer is yes. The pool is definitely open. I can see over in the grassy area, folks are, I wouldn't exactly say sunbathing because the sun's not too bright at the moment, but uh, they're out there. And sure enough. So this is our destination. We want to check out this particular bike parking. And again, you see lots and lots of racks here. Always well used on the weekend and uh, quite a few folks are here. Swing through here.
Hey, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers.